Let's find out in lesson two. Welcome to lesson two of our free Quick Start Introductory Open House course. In this section, I'm going to cover two open house forms that most agents don't have but need and the one form that most agents have but is usually either incomplete or sometimes just plain wrong. So let's get back to where we left off in lesson one. So how can you prove you're the expert to your visitor who has been looking for an expert? The expert that is genuinely ready and willing to help them right now. We're going to talk about this in the book in some detail. And certainly as agents, we have lots of know-how we could share with guests, but your visitors are only interested in what they're interested in. And today, that's the house that you're standing in and maybe in the immediate neighborhood. So that's where you begin. But unlike when we started holding open houses, you know better that selling yourself starts at the first open house sign and is either supported by or undermined by other parts of your event thereafter. Which means that proving you're an expert can be as simple if you do a little planning and preparation. And when it's done right, your guests will be halfway sold by the time you even begin your first conversation. So here's what doing it right means. First, looking the part. Second, having the best materials in storefront. Third, knowing a simple script that makes an appointment an obvious and natural result. All right, let's take those one at a time and let's drill down. First, looking the part, okay? Consumers are bombarded with thousands of messages a day, but at an open house, you're the only message they see. So, like the message that you want to send, be that message. That means dress nice, smell nice, be prepared, be relaxed. But it also means that the home and homeowners should be prepared. And most homeowners are ready, willing, and able if you just give them some guidance. So, the Open House Association has a blueprint for sellers known as the seller's secret to success, an open house preparation form. This form gives sellers a checklist on what to do and what not to do. In the form, you'll note sections on hazards, cleaning, landscape, pets, security, valuables, and so on. On the second page, at the bottom, the form also requests information from the owners regarding any notable upgrades, remodeling, any special rules that they want you to observe, and any known safety concerns for you that you need to be aware of or address. Give this to the occupants a few days before the open house and your event's going to be better, safer, and you will have covered many of the most important liability and risk management issues for you and your broker. This form can be downloaded over to you right as part of this course. Now, the second way we demonstrate our expertise is with our event setup and materials. Certainly, most agents have a guest registry, house flyer, or maybe a snack. But winning over consumers these days is not about just doing enough. It's about being extraordinary. To paraphrase the marketing guru, Seth Godin, in today's market, good or very good isn't good enough. The thing that decides what gets talked about and what gets purchased is what is remarkable. The association's textbook covers the many ways to stand out and be remarkable. Our open house setup form, not included in this course, has 40 line items you can apply to promote your event. Add a few each event, and before you know it, you will have all of the results and five-star reviews that come 
from being remarkable. But let's go back to the guest registry for just a moment. This is the second form that we want to give you as a free download today. This form, it's vital because it sets the tone for your interaction. Since time is limited, let me go over just a few of the important points at the top. Now, first of all, everyone signs in. If you need an excuse, tell them that your broker requires it for security reasons. If you want to have some fun with them, well then tell them uh, that even your lender had to sign in. Just make it you. Now, if you intend to do some follow-up calls, and we hope you do, you're going to need to cover the National Do Not Call Registry's written permission to call exemption. What that means is you'll need their phone number, an affirmative confirmation that you have their permission to call and you need their signature. Yes, their actual signature is required. So that's why we put it right up at the top next to their name. It's natural for them to sign after they print their name. And most do. If not, ask them to sign. Two lines below that, next to the phone number, there are three permission boxes. OK to call, call if important, and text OK. In a perfect world, we want them to check all three. But lots of folks don't want us to call. Certainly not in the first 10 seconds after they walk in. So by giving them three choices, most will pick the center. In this case, call if it's important. And most agree that if it is important, it's OK to call. The psychology giving them an easy middle choice is called center stage effect. But it's also a quick way to get the permission we need for the follow-ups. Texting can triple your closing percentages if it's done right. And we share how to do it in the book and in other courses. Also, you're going to note that we don't ask if they have an agent here because it's too soon for that question. Most of the questions have a specific purpose, but that's the basics for now. The final proof of your expertise is in knowing what to say, what to ask, and how to respond. Plenty of agents ad lib at open houses, but trying to endear ourselves to our visitors all while showing the house and attempting to demonstrate our expert knowledge is really, it's just too tall in order without some structure. So, while the association has several scripts, the one you'll need next is the buyer script. We call this the buyer survey and appointment, and it's the final form we'll be giving you in this course. It's intended to be used by you, preferably on a clipboard, and only after your guests have signed in. Also, if you're going to use it, we recommend that you memorize this form. Imagine walking into an open house, being greeted by an agent who knows exactly what they want to ask you, directs you through the home preview and then straight to the heart of, why are you out shopping? <laughs> Real buyers are relieved to find someone who knows what they are doing. So when you can, practice the script. Be prepared to have guests finally exhale when they realize, they're in good hands with you. When you review this form on your own, you're going to see that it's intended to be the first pitch at the hosted home. Then confirm if they are available for representation. And finally, it will lead them to an appointment as a natural result of your interaction. In summary, the main takeaways from this course are actually converting open house guests to clients is not so simple. Buyers and sellers will do business with a perceived expert who's ready to help them. The best way to prove your expertise is look the part, have the best materials and storefront, and know a simple script that makes an appointment obvious and a natural result. Four, best prospecting tactics in this course. Set up a tour board. Preview all the homes. Have the right mindset and be ready to immediately take prospects on a tour. So that's our quick start course. I hope you enjoyed it. 
we've enjoyed bringing it to you. All of the forms in this course will be available at the Open House Association website when you go ahead and log in. And may I say, we look forward to seeing you again for either our advanced strategies or the eight week jumpstart course where we'll get a chance to go into more detail and you'll get a chance to earn your certified open house specialist designation. You'll also get a listing in our member directory where you can add reviews that you can share with listing agents and sellers in order to help you get the best open house locations and opportunities in the market. For those sales managers watching today, please give us a call so we can send you a new agent training kit. Everyone else, of course, contact us if you have any questions. And don't forget to check out the Great Open House weekly blog on the homepage. It's open to the public and we need your open house pictures. So may I say, looking forward to seeing you again soon.